because no one in history has ever spent $34,500 in storage. This is the record most expensive storage unit. Why we buy lies in so many ways. The cold reality of the storage auction. Oh, this says in strict confidence. This is, what is in here? Look at that original box they came in, Uncle Michael. Oh, look at that. We got the demons. Dave Strickler. Hello. Uh -huh. What? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, paratas of all ages, we are here. And by we, I mean me and the legend, Uncle Mike. <laughs> Uncle Michael, say hello. Hello, hello, hello. We have just went through a percent, only a few percent of the storage unit. We already found probably over $2,000 just in that last video. We're filming and separating. Look, the panties are starting to add up. You come over here. This box right here has to have probably $1,500 in eBay sales, roughly. Maybe a little $1,250. We got, <sighs> found that, can't show you. What you talking about, Willis? And we're just gonna get to it and we're gonna go right through it. Before you do, don't forget the like button, the share button, subscribe, say something pretty, and don't forget to have all your notifications on because you're gonna wanna see what's coming out of this one trailer load. This is all the money coming out of the $34,000. $500 storage unit. With that being said, let's get started. I kind of want to just keep the money going and we'll see like, at the end of our videos today, we'll see what. This is that display case. Has you already been through that one? Yeah, okay. three times. First box, Uncle Mike was already Up been on top over there? Where? That's fine. We're starting eBay up there, so it's eBay. Do we have some jewelry here? Some, that's a rare piece to find. Nope, we got pins. 41 of 750. This one's missing that one, so we must have put it on something. We got keychains and doodads. Wells Fargo. Ozzy Osbourne. That's kind of cool. It's not stream value, but that'll add up. We'll make mystery boxes with those, or mystery lots, or... Come on, Uncle Michael, find the Rolex. Someone has to have a Rolex in this life. That's why we buy lies in so many ways. The cold reality of the storage auction. Oh, you know, because you need lots of these, right? Do this. Try it on. No, I'm messing my hair up. Come on, Uncle Mike. No. The world wants to see you wearing that. Another Lionel train car rocket freight. I think it's exploding. It has a price tag of $10 from whenever he bought it. Oh my Lord, I have a whole bunch of just little things to go through here. But these are cute, what are they? They're just ashtrays. Remember when people used ashtrays? Comment below if you remember the day that we used to use ashtrays. Willery, Villery and Bach, those are kind of cool. What do you got? I've got handfuls of brand new Flexies and $43 price tag. And then we get into envelopes. Pink garter belt. You need a new pink garter belt, Uncle Mike? No, I spoiled. We got one pair of brand new lingerie. Hey, lingerie, don't you be a meanie. Ooh, 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 ooh. You see those tags right there? Vintage Vanity Fair. This is probably a hundred bucks right here. Two new old stock pieces. Another pair, new old stock. No, these new, they're slightly worn. Bolos, 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 where's the tag? I was gonna show you, but we'll find one on another one. Okay. 
are actually national hockey they're not really well. Paid five bucks for these, two Vassarette Ponchos. More railroad books, a three pack. Are they railroad? San Jose. Oh no, they're images. Pleasanton, Livermore, Dublin, and San Jose. A USB cord, my Uncle Mike. When's the last time you saw one of them? Look at this, thirty-two dollars. Spanx, brand new lingerini. Here we got high fashion curb and heel. That box is done. All gloves. Yeah, I would put that in the flea market section. Two more pairs of vintage. Why are you putting flea market there? Where are you going? Are you on the order? I'm starting to stack it up to front somewhere to get out of here and get to it now. Just say to me what you want from me. We got a three-pack of Ron DeShear. This is kind of cool because now people get to watch more than just panties at a time when we do this instead of me going through it with you. Yeah, now, I'm, sick of, I'm sick of seeing the panties. I've never been sick of panties in my life. Look at that Spanx, brand new. $30 price tags right there. Look at that train cars, Uncle Mike. Look at that, another one. $32. This is nuts. This is kind of fancy. Let me see that up close here. Let me show the whole world. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this one's in great shape. The Lionel, that is probably 40 bucks right there, Uncle Michael, at least 30 I'm going to roll that back up in here because it's very important that we There's don't damage it. There's to it, too. That's the bottom, the mounting mechanism that goes underneath it, so just kind of carefully wrap it back in the box. Put it back in the box? I would set it in that box, right? There was one. There was two of them. Two of them? Yeah. So you just open up at least a $50 box, possibly 80 but they're too, those will get damaged if we load them on each other. Oh my. I'm loving the panties. Here we go. Bolos item. Here's your tag. Very old. Very vintage. You're looking at... You're looking at a lot of money right there. You're looking at a $100 bag right there. That is... No, Gushko... Just sit it on top of that box. Or put it in the eBay section up top. Remember, we're kind of saving everything out to put it where it goes once we undo the unboxing of the video. Ooh, these are old. Wow. These are probably 20 plus bucks a piece. Look at these. These are old, old. See that tag? They? They're like nylons. They're heck of old. Another one. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Come on, B. Uh, the blue box we just shown. That is probably a thirty dollar bill right there in nylon. Eight minutes later, he got it open, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. It's, I think, a Delton. D-E-L-T-O-N. That's probably 40 bucks right there. 40, 50 bucks. It's a caboose. Don't it's break it. Like brand new.
another pair. Oh yeah, vintage is a gets right there. <laughs> Look at those tags. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I'm just going away. Another pair. Spanks. $32 price tag right there. What? Oh my Uncle Michael broke stuff. All that for that one little guy? Oh, that's kind of cool, though. It's all in here. It's the 1989 Wiley Cut. Yeah, that was one of his favorites. Okay, $8.50. Vintage nylon. Oh my. <laughs> I love this. There's four pairs of those. All that for just that, Uncle Mike? Yes. Look at this new old stock. That looks like a cool one, though. Victoria's Secret. I guess it's the tag. That is a cool one. We'll put that in the chain box when we're done for the reveal. Another pair, just one pair, but that's probably 10 bucks right there. It looked heavy. I felt, I saw, I saw the way you struggled putting that down. It looked heavy. I wish I could just like scan this and see what's in it. Well, it's a slow process, so that's what we got to do, Uncle Mike. Ooh, I can't, I can't show that. Yes, I can. Those look, those look incredible right there. Those leggings. I'll take those home for the little one. What is that? A kiss ornament? Nope. It's Barbie. Oh, wow. You know who we should give that to? You say it so happily, Uncle Michael. One pair of nylons. I'm telling you guys. We're just, I'm going to show you guys what they're worth here very soon. We're gonna be making ads on ads on ads. We got another pair. Look at this. Does this bring out the tiger in you? There, oh great. One whole huge box of vintage lingerie. Probably 300 bucks here with some pantyhose and vintage lingerie. G scale. Heavy. Oh, it's a locomotive. That right there. Is there only one in there? Yeah. You see how Uncle Michael struggled with that, but I just grabbed it because I'm not like. No, it's right there for me in terms of I don't know what it is. I don't want to break it. It's a G scale. I would put that one back in the box. That one is going to be. It is a Lionel G scale train. It's a locomotive. I think you paid, uh, what did it say? It says he paid uh, eighty-seven fifty, and he did that in. What, you don't want to go through this one? Close. Close. Let's see. <laughs> Not just close. This is Spanx. And it is some type of pants. There's two of them. They're size extra large. It doesn't have a price tag on the thing. 
Highway Smoother. There's two of those. He paid 52 bucks for one. There's two of them in there. That's money right there. Oh, what do you got, Uncle Michael? We haven't seen that stuff in a while. No. When do we haven't seen it? Apartment 56. Yeah. Apartment 56, apartment 56. They're not like great pieces, but they're, these are all adding up. If you look at the price on them, that one was $22.50 in the store. Retired probably $20 in the store. This one here is 18, and this is a very good one here. Here's the book on it. This is the Dick, the Dickens Village series. Very rare, $79. So you're looking at 130 probably or so just in stuff there, plus these vintage pieces here. That adds up real quickly. Rhonda Shear. Help me, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Is this the box with the Rolex in it? what it is, Rhonda Shear? Yeah, those are good. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Yeah, but there, this is, okay, I see your double count. Yeah, this is 44 bucks on eBay, and this is 44 bucks on eBay. Nice I wonder what these are. Are these the actual name plates for the athletes? You know how they have them on their, when they're locker when they come in? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you think these are the actual A's player stuff right here? Because I've never seen anything like this before. There's nothing. Mark Ellis. Come on, be Mark McGuire. We got Casey Chavez or something. We got Steve Cicillano. You're going through a wild box there. Matt Carson. I, I really don't want to. I need you to, huh? Take one for the team, Uncle Michael. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, I know what it is. What is it? A tie. <laughs> Women's Nike $60 price tag. This is what's hot in the streets right now. Shirts like that. Women are going Lady Gaga for. We got another one here. It's the pants, the shorts, brand new. Look at those. I think these will fit you, Uncle Michael, and I want to see you wear these tomorrow to work. This right here, that's bad. This right here, that's bad. Are those uh, rings for around... Uh, no, okay. Not what I thought they were for a second. Thing. No, they hit to the top, I think. The way you want to wear it. You can look to the top. Okay. I thought it was like uh, I mean, can't that's even, my guess. I can't say the word because we're live on the filming and I'll end up leaving it on there, but it starts with a C and then it goes up a ring. This is kinda cool. USA the strong the brave. We'll put that in the YouTube auction box. Um, wow. Here's his little creepy group of friends. See that? Oh, they all look like creepy guys. They just do. It's a whole little clique of creepy dudes. Not just an idiot. I'm a Mongo idiot. Tahoe 25. Who's this? T-shirt? That's a uh, Stevie Wonder, isn't it? Isn't that Stevie Wonder? Or am I tripping? I don't think it is. It kind of looks like him. Maybe I'm wrong. Come on, man. Come on, Uncle Michael. Find us a thousand bucks. Here we got some um, Santa cream. Oh, cool. Window set. I bet the, the little woman would like that. I'm going to call her the old lady. Kiss chocolate. Should we eat these? You probably don't want to go back through this one. Why? Because you can't. You don't have the time to take to go through it piece by piece, which is our job. No. That's no. our job. We're not in a hurry. 
And then you go through all this piece by piece. It's all paper. I can't even see. I put my glasses on. Put your glasses on. Don't be difficult. Hot Wheel Demons. Look at that. Those are money right there. Christmas train decor. Hot Wheel Demons. Another one. Oh, look at this. I would while away the hours consulting with the flowers and even the birds and bees. <whistles> oh, I could tell you why. The ocean's near the shore. I might have to keep this. This is tight right here. I love the Wizard of Oz. Oh, I can tell you why Crazy. the ocean's near the shore. And then I sit and think some more. Vintage haunties. We got some train parts. These are good right here. These are good right here. Look at that original box they came in, Uncle Michael. Oh, look at that. We got the demons. Dave Strickler. Hello. Uh -huh. yeah. What? Something bad is happening. Don't sweat it. Just go do what you gotta do. I'll be here. We have... Uncle Michael has an emergency. He has to go. Oh, I, I feel bad. They had to spend a lot of money. They just spent $7,000 to have their dog amputated. The the, lay, the foot yesterday and the dog's going into shock. He's got to rush. He's got to rush to the vet right now. Um, it'll probably be too late for anybody to say prayers because I'm taking care of the moment now. But put Uncle Michael's dog in your prayers, please, because they're having a, a crisis at home. So he has to go. We got a whole box of these original in the original box. It's demons, 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 demons. Tons of Hot Wheels here. I don't know how we're going to do these. Maybe in a lot. Demons, demons, Corey Dersham. These are good pieces here. Hot Wheels. We got a large set of these. I think they're even in the original box, which I don't usually find stuff like that. It contains 12 pieces. That is pretty tight. What is this? Spalding. Some type of phone cord. Wires. Oh, it's an original phone. I don't even know if that has value. I'm not even going to worry. It's like somebody destroyed it. I'm going to sort Uncle Michael's paper box he didn't want to go through. I'm going to see if there's anything good, I'll pull it out. If it's not, we won't film it. Oh, this says in strict confidence. This is... What is in here? He worked for the lab. Could this be top secret government documents we're not supposed to see? In strict confidence, Google address. Oh, look. They met right here. Interesting. That's right by my house. Interesting. That's literally right around the corner from where we are. Is he following me? I don't know. This is strict confidence, so I have to uh, I have to be careful what I show. Okay, Buchanan Fields. Buchanan Fields. Jailhouse S. Okay, South Carolina Clinton. Interesting. This makes no sense because it's said in strict confidence. I don't know what it is. Okay, so that is pure garbage. I thought that was going to be interesting on some level, but it wasn't. So we will continue on. And we are coming here with more Rhonda Shear. This is just money coming in. Here is, let me see what, it doesn't show what he paid, but we got 44, 30, and 44 on eBay sales right there, just in that one little pile. I'm, I was just having so much getting fun, getting, finding money in every box. 
and we got more Rhonda Shizzle. We got Rhonda Shizzle. We got Rhonda Shizzle. So we got one, two, three, two X looking spandex. And we got a five pack of undergarments and a three pack of a size X medium. Uh, bro, this is, it's just adding up. It's just adding up. I, I, I want to say first off, I'm sorry to anybody who thinks it's boring. Watching just very similar items come out. Now understand the reason why I'm showing you all of these women's undergarments, the fact that they're money. They're, I'm talking huge money. I've sold panties for as much as 50, 80 bucks that people are laughing me out. And shout out to Christopher Chatworth. So far, the record is during the, the quarantine lockdown auction era I did. I sold 1,000, 2,000 pairs of this stuff. This man sold one pair of used vintage silky mushroom gasset, they call them, undergarments for $350 for just one pair. That's why I keep showing you is because gold, silver, gems, treasures alike. It isn't always gold, silver, and gems. Um, this is gold, right? That's gold. This right here, nameplates off of Oakland A's players' lockers. That's gold. It's adding up. And that's why I want to show you guys because no one in history has ever spent $34,500 in storage. This is the record most expensive storage unit. And I'm trying to let everybody see why I gamble so much, what it's worth. And I want to walk you through the entire process. We've already just, we're on the second video of the day today. We're not even 5% through the trailer. And we've already found close to $4,000 plus in eBay sales. Not an exaggeration. Maybe, we'll just say 3,000. We'll just say we found 3,000 so far in the last two videos. If you haven't watched, there's a full playlist. We'll put it below. Anyway, I'm going to end this video. We're going to go through the rest. This is a recap of everything I found right here. All the little Hot Wheels, all the brand new undergarments, the nylons, et cetera, et cetera. It's adding up in nothing but money. 20 here, 30 here, 50 here, et cetera, et cetera. So don't, don't underestimate what it is I'm showing you. Don't forget the like button, the share button, subscribe, say something pretty, and most importantly, have all notifications turned on. Just on a side note, I'm just going to show you. Here it is. This one, 120 for this one piece right here. Just mind-boggling.